Okay, what's up guys, Game Fan Fan about Game Sir back in for you. Another drama script this Saturday. And let's jump right into it. Uh, the Miz and Maurice have announced that they are having a baby, that Maurice is pregnant. Now, the only thing I find ironic about this is that during the John Cena and the Miz feud for this past year's WrestleMania, how John Cena made a joke that the Miz may be shooting blanks, and now all of a sudden they're they're having a baby. I just find that that's just me to be, I find that funny, but yeah, so I'm happy for The Miz, and I think the Madison family, I think that's The Miz's government last name, but I'm happy for Miz and Maurice, and The Miz posted this whole giant uh, emotional blog on his Instagram about how he feels about having a child and being a father for the first time. So he says the the Miz baby's coming in 2018. So I'm happy for for that family. And wrestling WWE news: uh, the New Day are now four-time tag team champions. They have two Raw tag team title reigns, and now they have two SmackDown title reigns as they beat the Usos in their um, Vegas street fight, which had a good finish. I like the finish. Uh, rumors are going around that it's going to be the Usos and the New Day in a Hell in a Cell match at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view for the title. That's a rumor. It hasn't been confirmed. But I could see that... I could see that actually being a thing. I wouldn't, that wouldn't bother me if that happened to turn out for their championship rematch. Would be in a Hell in a Cell and then that's how they would end it. There shouldn't be no more Uso... New Day matches after a Hell in a Cell match. Usually big matches like that settle almost every feud that's been going on for a while. Uh, on Raw, they're building up Bray Wyatt, not Bray Wyatt, excuse me, they're building up Braun Strowman and the Brock Lesnar match, they're building it up good. Like I said, they have Braun Strowman throw Big Show out of the cage, making Braun Strowman look stronger. And I like the constant uh, heat of exchange of words between Roman Reigns and John Cena and John Cena is basically saying that he's a drug test and Roman can't pass it because you know brought up the fact that Roman failed the drug test last year and was was out for suspended for I think a month is it a month or 60 days I don't know but he was suspended for like one or two months and John Cena broke, broke, broke the fifth wall bringing it up and their little promo. This is all working wonders, but uh, just like Roman Reigns has to win. I don't see them going through all this and John Cena patching the torch, so Roman Reigns basically has to win. And going on to more of the SmackDown thing, the best storyline right now is Kevin Owens versus the McMahons. So it's already been set up, Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens in a Hell in a Cell, at Hell in a Cell. And Vince McMahon made an appearance, and then Kevin Owens headbutted him and, you know, made him bleed. Which was, if that doesn't make you the, the, the number one top heel on SmackDown, I don't know what will, but it's going to lead to... Kevin Owens versus Shane McMahon in a Hell in a Cell match. And don't be surprised if I have a strong feeling that Shane just, even though he's suspended, he may show up on SmackDown and give revenge on Kevin Owens on what Kevin Owens did to his father. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this week's Drama Script of Saturday. If you like what you have witnessed, uh, please leave all your comments in the comment section below, whether you see this on Facebook or on YouTube. If you liked what you witnessed, please remember to subscribe. And I'm Game Fee Fan World Games until the next Saturday, guys, which I'm going to give my predictions on the No Mercy pay per view, because that is next Sunday. But until next Sunday, Sunday guys, I'm out of here. Later and peace.